Hello friends. In this video, we will be discussing whether given grammar is a SLR1 or not. This problem is from October 2018 paper. It's for 6 marks. It's a question 4B1. This is what is the grammar given to us. Now, we know the for SLR, this is simple LR. So, whatever parser, the first step is to augment the given grammar. So, in augmenting given grammar, we add a starting rule. S dash goes to starting original starting notable E. And then the remaining rules as it is, rules of E, rules of T and rules of F. So the first step is to find the closure of a starting on terminal that is a S dash. So we have here a I naught, that's a closure of S dash. That's a S dash goes to dot E. Okay. Now after dot there is a E, so which is a non-terminal. So we have to write the rules of uh, non-terminal E. So E goes to dot E plus T and E goes to dot T. So after dot we get non terminal t, so we have to write rules of t. So it is t goes to dot t star f and t goes to dot f. Now after dot again we get non terminal f, so we have to write rules of f. So f goes to dot a, the terminal. So i naught is over. Now next thing is going to be at number 1. So at number 1 go to of uh, i naught comma e, it's a typical atom. That's a s dash goes to e shift the dot. So it is s dash goes to e dot. Starting rule finishes here. Next item is uh, i naught comma. Okay, there's one more i naught comma e here. We need to consider this as well. So e goes to e dot plus t. So e goes to e dot plus t. After dot, there's a terminal plus. Now next is i naught comma t. So go to of i naught comma t. That's item number two. That's e goes to t dot and there's one more dot t here. So e goes to t dot will finish here and then t goes to t dot star f. So t dot star f after dot is star. So we have one rule finishing here. Okay. Matter number three go to i naught comma f. So i naught comma f that is t goes to f dot this will finish here ok now next atom number 4 will be can I write immediately here go to of i naught comma small a so it is f goes to a dot this is a finish rule Okay, so item number now, I know I know I zero is complete. I know zero over. Now item number one is I one comma plus. So that will be next. Go to item number five. Go to of item number one comma plus. So dot after dot is a plus. So we take plus here. So just copy the rule as it is, shift the dot, e goes to e plus dot t. Now after dot there is a t, the t is non-terminal, so take rules of that non-terminal t, so t goes to dot t star f. In all the rules dot will be at the start and t goes to dot f. So after dot there is again non-terminal f, take rule of this f, f goes to dot a. Okay. Now, so at number 5 is over i1 comma plus so i1 is done now i2 comma star so we have here next uh, item number six let's go to off i2 comma star that is t goes to t star dot f after dot is non-terminal f so we take rules of f f goes to dot a terminal done so item number two is done item number three is already covered i4 is covered now item number five and t so next item number uh, let's say seven that's go to of item number i5 comma t so it's i5 comma t T, which is going to be e goes to e plus t dot so just dot is going to shift so e goes to 
e plus t dot it's again a finish rule it's finished here okay so now there's one more dot t here in i5 so cover that as well t goes to t dot star f so this is done so i5 comma t is done now i5 comma f now next is uh, going to be go to of i5 comma f will be t goes to f dot okay now t goes to f dot is already covered here at number 3 so it's same as at number 3 next will be go to of i5 comma small a will be f goes to a dot so f goes to a dot will be same as at number 4 this was uh, at number 0 comma small a okay this was the thing so it is now i4 comma a same as i4 so this is uh, same as at number 4 so at number 4 is okay this so at number 5 is covered at number 6 i6 comma f so next at number we can have at a number eight go to of i six comma f just copy this rule the shift the dot so t goes to t star f dot the finish rule here next is going to be i six comma small a that's a go to of uh, i6 comma small a will be same as f goes to a dot that is item number 4 so now i6 is covered now i7 is called i7 comma star so it will be go to of i7 comma star will be what t goes to t star dot f so t star dot f will be same as at number 6 so it is at same as at number 6 so i7 comma star is over and let's move to at a number 8 is already over yeah so we are covered so we got here total uh, 8 items totally and how many go to's we got here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 go to 0. Now let's build a passing table for SLR to check whether it is SLR1 or not. In SLR passing table, uh, we have got total here 8 items and then we got here two, mainly two parts of the columns, action part and the go to part. In go to part we write non-terminals ETF except starting non-terminal as dash. If that because that will be anyway a blank column so it's not required and the action part contains terminals that is plus star and a and including dollar for reduce entries so let's make it now shift and go to entries we just have to read the titles so i not comma e is at number one so i not e is at number one then i not t is at number two so i not t is at number two i not f is at number three so you'll get three here Next, I not comma A is at number four, so it's a terminal. Action entry will be shift and four, so I not A, so I not A will be shift at a number four. That's a four. That's for shift. Four is at a number four. Next is a I one plus is five, so I one plus is a shift entry at a number five. Then here you have I two star is six, so I two star is shift and at a number six. Then we have here I five t is 7 so i5 here to number 5 will be t is non terminal that is 7 okay then here next we have i7 sorry then we have to check i7 f is 3 so i sorry i5 f is 3 so i5 f is 3 then we have i5 a is shift 4 so i5 a is shift 4 then we have here i6 f 
8 so we need here i6 uh, f is uh, 8 okay so i6 8 is 8 then we have got here i6 comma small a is s4 so i6 comma is shift 4 then what we have is i7 star is 6 7 star is s6 so 7 star is here s6 Then here we have got i6 a is already covered done so let's check how many entries we got here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so we got here twelve entries combinedly of shift and go to now let's make reduce entries for reduce entries uh, we need to find the follow so we need let's find the follow of non-terminals so let's find the follow of etf so here it is going to be i need to find follow of e then t and then f okay so follow of uh, sorry follow of s dash as well so follow of starting on table s dash will be dollar okay and then follow of e follow of e, e is in the last non-terminal so follow of e is follow of s dash so we get follow of s dash is dollar here Follow of E is plus, first of plus, so we get also get plus here, then that's it. Follow of, uh, okay, so now what you require is follow of T, follow of T, T is last non terminal, so we require follow of T is follow of E, so we get here dollar and plus. Now follow of T is follow of E, we are done. Follow of T is first of star, so we also take a star here. Okay, now follow of F, follow of F says fall of f is f is last non terminal so fall of f is fall of t so we get here fall of t copied here dollar plus and star that's what is the follow of this non terminals okay now we using this follow we're going to make reduce entries so let's number these rules to distinguish them so what is the rule number let's say zero rule number one rule number two rule number three rule number four and last is rule number five okay now the first rule at a number first rule is s dash goes to e if we finish this letter number one and follow of s dash is dollar so i1 comma dollar we write accept entry it means one comma dollar we write here accept the input statement is accepted here parser will halt and announce success okay now at number two what finishes is e goes to t now e goes to t is rule number two so we'll write rule number two in at number two the rule is of e so follow of e that is dollar and plus so at number two Fall of yields dollar plus rule number two. Rule number two plus dollar and plus so rule number two dollar and plus so rule number two rule number two. Done. Now at number three t goes to f. That is uh, rule number four. At number three rule number four, and fall of t is dollar plus star. So rule number four dollar plus star dollar rule number four dollar plus and star so r4 r4 and here it will be r4 next at number four f goes to a f goes to a rule number five fall of f is dollar plus star so at number four rule number five at number four rule number five r5 dollar plus and star r5 and here we have r5 done so item number four is covered item number five nothing finishing nothing finishing in item six item seven e goes to e plus t so e goes to e plus t is rule number one here follow of e is dollar plus so item seven rule number one dollar and plus seven dollar and plus we'll be writing here rule number one so r1 okay and dollar here R1 dollar and plus. Then item number seven is over. Item number eight. T goes to T star F. 
that is rule number 3 here so r3 that is number 8 r3 pole of t is dollar plus star so that is number 8 r3 r3 and dollar is also r3 so we have finished with all our reduce entries let's check that's r0 standing for then so r1 2 3 4 and 5 if you look at this table we got here all unique entries no conflict anywhere shift call reduce conflict or reduce reduce conflict so it means the given grammar is we can say is slr 1 